ET364, remember that. Oh, things are back to normal. It's a busy day in the neighborhood. Sweet baby Jesus, we're back. NBC grilled cheese sandwich smells really good. I have not had lunch. Can we just stay here for a minute and enjoy this song? Money shots. Oh, the Olympics. I thought this was the year the breakdancing was being added, but I think it turns out that it's not until the next Summer Olympics. Oof, at a quarter to seven. Oh my God. No way. That's the best parade in Orlando. That is a very special bench. Ultra VIP. But the main reason why we came here today is more HHN merchandise. And this is specific to the house that was announced today. And this is specific to the house that was announced last week. And this was announced mm, three weeks ago. He's super excited about Horror Nights. She's just taken aback. Oh look, they have bendy figures too. Those look awesome. 23 bucks on those guys. Ooh, look at these other goodies. That Jack's head is only 100 bucks? What? 250 on the pumpkin? And look at those HHN things. Whoa. Meanwhile, Bruce, 750? Goodness gracious, the barn show got out and now it's super packed out here. Welcome to Universal Orlando. This is light pole 298. One more minute until showtime. Oh my good lord. I'm so excited. Oh my god, it's showtime! They're even dancing backstage. Holy yikes, that minion in the back is very faded. Who knows that guy? It's that guy. I can never remember his name. I think they just said it. I'll call it Big Nose though. Oh, no Squidward today. How awkward. I know that guy. Oh, surprise, Squidward is here. Oh my god! Bobby Lashley is in the background. Is secured. Hola, soy Diego. <laughs> Quite the turnout for the parade. All right, let's get to the main attraction. Let's get our horror on. Horror night, anyone? Don't mind if I do. All right. I 
I'm dead? Emotionally. Or James, are you ready? Yeah. There's two pieces over there. It's a, there's a shield and a coat. Okay. These are good. I told you you're a celebrity. These are Brooke Shields. Oh. And oh, oh, I see the George Ash logo. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. And these are uh, the Doogie Hauser line of uh, Dr. Coats from Party City. <laughs> Doctor? Doctor. Uh, <laughs> Go three feet from this audience, Doctor. Find me someone. Star is born. One, two, three. Scream! I did it wrong. That okay. Give it up for Tanya! Those people are drunk. <laughs> it's it's, kid right there. it's like 7 30. They should be. I know. Look, what, I'm just mad that they didn't bring it along with them. I'm mad that I brought that along with me because you looked. Yeah. Yes, you did. That's why the alarm goes on. No. Yes, you did. You did. No. Yeah, you did. No, there, yes, there was an incident. There was an incident. Somebody threw something at your curtain. Uh, somebody, somebody threw something? Somebody from the audience threw something at your curtain. Oh, oh, did they? Yeah. Who? That, that girl right there. Her? Yeah, she threw, she threw a cigarette at your curtain. What? She threw a cigarette at your curtain. Yeah, she threw a cigarette at your curtain. She brings up a good point. Then wouldn't there be some of it on the floor? You would think, but there isn't. <laughs> It makes a good point. Yeah. <laughs> so what, how did that even happen? I don't know, she was sitting there and she was bored. She was like, <laughs> yeet. <laughs> she said yeet, I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean? I, uh, yeet? I, I hope it's not dirty. Is that easy? Yeet! Is that easy? Yeet! Like that? I think that kid's been drinking too. Yeah. <laughs> I just have acid reflux. Yeah. Well, let me just got real porcelain dentures. This is real human hair. Where do you get the hair from? Kids from Arkansas. <laughs> just, uh, we just lure them in and shave them. <laughs> I'm from Little Rock. <laughs> so it'd be pretty annoying. All right, now you can stay right there. I'm gonna pop the power on. It'll encounter you. You may react physically, Tony. It's not a big deal. It's a couple seconds. Yeah. Have you ever been tased? Yeah. Oh. It's a hoot. All right, anyway, when you, you won't remember that part. When you do wake up, your pants might be wet. We good? <laughs> okay. Can we go? It's got to reset because I didn't test it. Hey, what's up with the lights? Yeah, I'm not really a light guy. I'm going to stay in my lane. <laughs> so, slowly raise your right hand. Okay. Good. Cool, so that's you. You're controlling him. Your movements translate to him. This is motion capture, telemetry. It's been around since the early 90s. They use this in video games a lot. This is how they keep Betty White alive. <laughs> I know, that's why she's been 80 for 35 years. You can move this way as well. Get him going. Um, yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm like a big shot. Shake it tuned up. Like a bad part of stuff. What's your summer jam, Tony? No? I'm going to go with lots of Billie Eilish. You wave at the kids. Hi, kids. Hi, Lily. Hi, Maddie. I live under your bed. No, Lily. It's important to tell kids the truth. Um, put your arm on your, on your tummy there. There's a gyroscope on the helmet, so if you take a little bow, he will too. Very nice. Give it up for the dream team. Yeah, put your arm down on your side. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of that, Lily. You can take all that stuff. Yeah. Right? We're just gonna stand here and awkwardly watch you take that off. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, as a thank you, you that's Lily. Lily. That's Tanya. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily. <laughs> Tanya. As a as a thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this show's over in five minutes. <laughs> I think it was over in five minutes. Yes. <laughs>
as a thank you, Universal would like to give you a free three day cruise. <laughs> for sure. Enjoy! Tanya, everybody! Hey, Tanya! Sun is going down. The Fast and the Furious car is still out here on display. Don Toretto. And we have character crossovers here. Duck and its babies. Oh my goodness. 7.48 at night and this is the crowd. Holy cow. Alright, let's head over by Men in Black. And while we're over here, we're concerned less with Men in Black. But more about what's in the extended queue. I don't know if you could have seen from the signage back there, because it's a little bit obstructed, but in the extended queue of Men in Black is a Halloween Horror Nights house. And that house is rumored to be Welcome to Scary Horror in the Heartland. It would be an original house for Halloween Horror Nights, not tied to an IP, not one that has been announced yet. So I'm gonna cut in here for a moment, just to talk about that scary Ohio house. Now the expectation for that house is that that will be a greatest hits type house, including such amazing past hits like Slaughter Cinema. At HHN 25, we kind of had the celebration house with all past years. I expect it to be somewhat similar. Back to the regular yammering. With that said, there have been multiple houses already that have been announced for Halloween Horror Nights 30. The first house being Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice was previewed at the end of our HHN 30 light last year. It's basically open for one weekend, I think, for contractual obligations so that they can repeat the house this year. And it wasn't run last year in its full capacity, so there were a lot of scenes that had one actor instead of two actors or multiples, etc. and that was due to COVID restrictions. So this year, Beetlejuice coming back full force. What we saw of the house last year was simply awesome. If you are a fan or lover of the Beetlejuice movie, or the play, but mostly the movie. It is amazing. They had Beetlejuice in the queue, interacting with fans as they snake their way around to get into the actual house. It is something to see. And then the second house that has been announced for the year is The Haunting of Hill House. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of the series, but I know Mary is and a lot of other people are, and there's multiple characters or haunt from that series that are gonna be involved in the house. The facade pictures that are online looked amazing, so it should be uh, Excellent addition. And then today we had two houses announced for the price of one. Newly announced, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre is coming back to Halloween Horror Nights. This time it's a little bit of a different reimagining of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think the last time Texas Chainsaw was at Horror Nights was HHN 26, so we've had a little bit of a break. This time I expect a different format of the house and a different story and should be crowd pleaser for those slasher fans and then we also had announced the bride of frankenstein lives the trailer that was used to announce the bride of frankenstein was simply amazing Of the two houses that were available last year for local folks to be able to enjoy, both The Bride of Frankenstein and Tooth Fairy, which is also due to come back, but yet not announced, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives was awesome. From the scenery to the characters and the use of Universal Monsters, it knocked the ball out of the park last year. I can only imagine how much better it's gonna be this year 
post-COVID. And while we wait for Universal to officially announce the Tooth Fairy House return, we're also waiting for them to announce Puppet Theater. NBC Universal last year ran a little bit of a special on Halloween Horror Nights and they announced that house in that special. There hasn't been much murmur about it since that time, but it will be back. And then rounding things out, we have originals. The Wicked Growth, The Realm of the Pumpkin, which Universal does evil pumpkins, scarecrows, like no one else. And then the best for last, uh, probably what folks are looking forward to most out of any of the houses yet to be announced, HHN Icons Captured. HHN 30 is gonna be a very special anniversary year, headlined by Jack, which was announced a couple of weeks ago. And we expect the full return of all of the HHN Icons. I can't wait. HHN 25, hands down, my favorite Halloween event of all time. I expect this to knock it out of the park. And while I sit at Fear Factor within the park, it is expected that this Fear Factor stage will be used for a jack show in HHN 30. I think while folks hope for the return of Bill and Ted, and me being one of them, I'm gonna get the jack show back here. Which, at Halloween Horror Nights 25, the jack show was so amazing that we had probably hundreds or thousands of viewers on a video, and I'll put the link up here, that would leave comments thinking that the show was real. Save the chef! All right, we're gonna head past Transformers and past Mel's die-in and over by the Transformers meet and greet. And oh my goodness, there's the Horror Nights smell. Oh my god. I wish you could smell this. smell of vision Scratch the screen. Oh, that's horror nice, baby. Now this house behind me in the Shrek building, that's the biggest mystery going so far. Online rumors had this pegged to either be Creep Show or Halloween 3. But I'm here to tell you it's none of the above. The house that is in the second theater of Shrek is gonna be Legendary Truth. If you're a longtime fan of Halloween Horror Nights, that has to get you excited. Halloween Horror Nights 30 has got to be the biggest HHN fan service event that they've had yet. If you're a veteran of the event, this is like landing on the moon. If you're a newbie, wait till you see what they have in store. And of course, Horror Nights do to have some amazing street action this year as well. But we'll talk more about the zones as they get announced. I went to the wrong level of the garage because I mindlessly follow other people up the escalator. All right, so while we talked about Horror Nights today, I would expect that we'll do a full preview like we normally do every year of the event once everything is officially announced, including the streets. Most importantly, the one thing that hasn't been announced yet is their multi-night tickets. And I know that there's uh, been an ongoing stir or kind of like low mass hysteria about like whether Horror Nights or Universal would offer a multi-night ticket. Um, I do understand that there is a multi-night ticket coming, like Frequent Fear or Rush of Fear, things like that. Um, but uh, it won't be available for another couple of weeks. I'm hearing by the end of July, beginning of August is when that should be uh, available. We booked our room already on site so that we can make sure that um, we're able to get back to our room after having some beverages uh, during opening weekend. And I would expect it will be here multiple nights. We come to the event um, very often, but we'll be looking to fit in Horror Nights along with many other haunted adventures uh, come the fall, especially Hollow Scream. They've been killing it lately with both Tampa and Orlando announcements and their social media stuff. So very, very much looking forward to Hollow Scream, one of our favorite events every year. But for now, we're going to get out of here. So thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. And oh my goodness, I really got to throw some more paint on the beard. See you guys. Subscribe to the Cheap Seats, otherwise they'll be looking in your dreams for you.